What's going on guys, in this video we're looking at the first of two big trades that went down today. Hampus Lindholm getting traded the Boston Bruins for a first round pick, two second rounders, Vakaninen and John Moore. So a huge return there for the Ducks. As I mentioned, it's the first of two big trades. As I started to record this, Giroux got traded to the Panthers. We're still not sure on what the return's going to be. I know Owen Tippett's involved, I think a first rounder. But I'm still waiting for all the specifics to be released. Once they are, you guys will see that video. So, as I mentioned, Hampus Lindholm here, very solid defenseman. Probably like the Ducks' best defenseman, but Penny Fragent, I'm sure he wanted to raise. Drysdale's probably like the future number one D for the Ducks. They still have Fowler. They still have Shattenkirk. You can see in-game here, Lindholm, 27 years old, 85 overall. I'm um, again, guys, for these trades using EA's rosters just to see what EA thinks of the deal, essentially. Also, too, they trade this depth defenseman, Curran. I think he's literally just there as a roster spot. On top of that, too, the Ducks did retain 50% of Lindholm to help make the trade easier for the Bruins. Now, like I mentioned, back and I in here, solid prospect in-game, 22-78 medium top four. And the Ducks are adding him to a solid group of young defensemen they've been building, obviously led by Drysdale. You also got Josh Mahura there, Brendan Gooley, Jacob Larkson, Axel Anderson here, who also is a former Boston Bruin. I think they got him for Andre Kasha. And now with that Canadian, and the Ducks also get John Moore, but he's just there for the salary, making 2.75 for the next two years, actually. I'm sure they're just going to bury him, have him in the AHL next season. And then, of course, all the picks they're getting back. Like, the Ducks already got a really good young group of players. They, of course, got Zegers, too. And we've got these picks, they're going to be even better. So it's a 2022 first, 2023 second, and a 2024 second rounder with, you know, former first round pick in back and in. I feel like the Ducks get an absolute haul here for Lindholm. Love this trade for them. I think the Bruins, obviously Lindholm's going to help out their defense. In my opinion, though, their biggest need was probably a 2C after Bergeron is currently Eric Howla. And I still do like them getting Lindholm. I just think this was a lot to give up. But this trade deadline seems to be a seller's market for some reason. Like, the prices are very expensive. So I'm thinking this trade won't go through. The value is way on the Bruins' side. And yeah, it does not. And so I'm now making the trade from the Bruins' perspective. You can see the Ducks they're interested in back in and the 2023 second, but... Not the 2024 second or the first rounder. And you can see there, I still have Lindholm at 50%. Now, with the trade difficulty set to medium, they honestly might say no here, even though the value is so heavily on our side. But without the retention, I'm sure they're going to say yes. And while even with the retention, they do say yes. That just shows you how much of a lopsided trade EA thinks it was for the Ducks. Now after that trade, guys, just an update look at the Bruins' lines when healthy. Obviously, still have Marchand and Berger on the first line. I'm thinking DeBrusque, first line right wing. I'm actually not sure who will be in that spot because it looks like they like Pasternak on the second line with Hall. Again, I think, you know, they could improve second line center instead of Hall, but he's fine for now. Fredericks, Danica, and Smith on the third. Lazar, Coyle, Felino on the fourth. Defensively, of course, looks a lot better now with Lindholm in the mix. I've got Grizzlick on the top pair with McAvoy. Carlo, Lindholm, second pair. Forbert, Riley, bottom pair. So the D definitely got a lot of depth. Allmark and Swayman there as the two goalies. Really, in real life, Swayman's like the 1A, Allmark's the 1B, but, you know, again, just ride the hot hand, the playoffs, whoever that is. Also, to you here, guys, I'll show you your first look at Lindholm as a Boston Bruin. Again, I'm still waiting for uh, some of the news here about the Drew trade. I did hear it's like 50% retention on him, but it's still not official or anything. So, right there, you guys can see Hamps Lindholm. Game face definitely could be better. That looks not really like Hampus Lindholm, but uh, 47 Lindholm there on the Bruins. So there you have it guys. Let me know in the comments section which team you think won this trade. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Have a nice day guys. Goodbye.